I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty, justice, for all. I am a Brookwood Junior High School student. I am loved. My life matters. My teachers have high expectations for me. I have high expectations for myself. When one door shuts, another will open. I will persevere. I will succeed. I am the future. I will not use my hands for hitting or my words for hurting others. I will use them only for helping. Good morning, staff and students. Just a few announcements for today, March 8th. Bloom High School is having a virtual open house for incoming freshmen this Thursday on March 11th at 5 p.m. To access the link, you're going to go on their website, www.bloomhs.org backslash future Trojans. Students, please complete your morning SEL check-in survey each morning. We have started this competition between first period classes. Every two weeks when students receive their incentive point paycheck, we do tally up the total number of students completing it from each first period class. The two first period classes with the highest average of students completing it will earn 25 points to be used for the PBIS monthly events. In March, we will be having virtual bingo, April virtual scavenger hunt, May virtual free gym day with PE teachers. Students, please complete your SEL check-in survey so you can win those points. Here is the current standings for the end of the first week. We had 162 students complete the daily check-in on March 5th. That's the highest amount we've had for the semester, so awesome job. But keep it up. Here's the classes that are in first and second place. Mr. Schmalz going strong with 83%. Mr. Lager, second place, 81%. Ms. Rowan and Ms. Baker, strong, coming up from behind, 75%. Ms. Shields is close, 71%. Ms. Moirano is close, 71%. So come on, keep trying, you guys. Make it a close race. Mr. Walsh's classes, you got to do better job. You're, you're kind of near the end. You can do better. You're only at 32%. So I know you guys can do better than that. All right, students, we need your help. Please encourage your parents or guardian to fill out that five essential survey. You guys completed it on Friday for your part, but we need your parents' input, and we need at least 20% of the parents to fill it out. Right now we have 15%. We're almost there. Please help us get to 20%. We use that feedback to develop the school improvement plans and activities to make com continuous improvement. The data needs to reflect the voices of our parents and students and teachers in order to address and validate our school concerns and support our existing programs. The link for the survey is posted on my class dojo, so please encourage your parent, if they have not completed it, to fill it out. And every, if you have siblings, they should fill it out for each school that um, your siblings go to and you go to. Students, if you have a dear and I in any of your classes, we are requiring that you stay on camera so we can make sure you're engaged in your teacher's live instruction. It's very important that you're engaged, so please remain on camera if you have a dear and I. If you refuse, then we do have to notify your parent. Students, remember our incentive program is tied to student progress, achievement, and attendance. You can redeem points for prizes. <coughs> Excuse me. And However, in order to receive the prizes, each student must be academic and attendance eligible. If students are receiving a DRI or if they have not been in attendance for more than 5% of the quarter, they do not qualify for the highest tier level of prizes, which does include gift cards. Students, you are still able to pick up your incentive prizes from second quarter. You can come to the junior high Monday through Friday between 8 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. to receive your prizes. Remember, our system is aligned with our Positive Behavior Intervention System or PBIS program. Our PBIS program tells us to be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. Teachers give one point in each tier when students exhibit all expectations under each category. Students also receive their points paycheck every two weeks, which keeps them informed of their incentive point total. We have revamped our incentive prize catalog for quarter three and it is now in alignment with the total number of points possible for the quarter so students please try your best and earn those points remember you can earn up to 18 points a day please ensure you're completing all your work on time so you don't fall behind and have to play catch up if you need extra help from your teachers you just need to ask 
Teachers offer extra help at the end of each day from 2.50 to 3.15 p.m., so please speak up if you need extra help. Remember, students, try your best to become an iLead student. iLead stands for Individual Learners Excelling Academically Daily. Each core teacher chooses five students when it's their turn to choose. Every other week, we do show a video recognizing the top five students. Remember, if you're absent or if you need to see the lesson again, you can request to see your teacher's recorded lesson. This week's cool tool is... Oh, I forgot what it is. I'm sorry. It's actually Brain Break Expectations. Each day this week, your teachers will review these expectations with you during your morning meeting, and then on Friday, you'll participate in a Kahoot on these expectations. Students, please remember to follow your class schedule and log on to each of your teachers' Google Meets at the designated time. Your teachers share a link for their Meet in their Google Classroom each day. If you're having any tech issues, please contact our help desk at 708-300-3553 or email our help desk, helpdesk at brookwood167.org. Remember, when you are online learning, you must follow all school rules and expectations. Our grab-and-go meals still available for all students Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. till 11.30 a.m. Just pull around to the east side of the junior high to door 12 to receive your grab-and-go meals. We have no birthdays today. Students, please remember to keep, to keep trying your best so you can get recognized by your teachers for completing exceptional work. Our math word of the day, distributive property, which says the product of a number and a sum equals the sum of the individual products of the add-ends and that number. Our quote of the day, the biggest temptation is to settle for too little. Hashtag Brookwood Strong, staff and students, have a great day.